Miami Trail, any little mistake, especially if you have a DUI, a little swerve, you're gonna crash into your car head on. It can cause a major traffic fatality. But that's why they got us out here. You have a warrant, bro. Attention, call units, attention, call units. Receiving a 317. Call is advising that the body has ejected. Should I do it? Should I hit the button for the intro? I'm hitting the button for the intro. What is going on, guys? Finally, I get to use the pre-programmed messages on my wheel and stuff. So I bet you're wondering what's up with the title, Police Vlogs, what is that? Yeah, well welcome, this is something new, baby. We're new and improved and fresh, we're growing, it's great. Well, today we begin a new journey, a new series. A new step in the Nick off-duty evolution. Let me break it down for you if I may. Since Police Cars launched, we've been traveling around the nation, visiting agencies and checking out their rides. Well, I decided, hmm, we've had some success with this recipe, why not expand on it? So instead of just checking out their rides, we're gonna be checking out the entire agency. A lot of these agencies that I visit have a lot to offer. Kinda like the agency we're visiting today. So first time featuring on this channel, the Mikasuki PD. And I'm not gonna speak too much about it because we're meeting Officer Fernandez and he's gonna tell us all about his agency and about a special unit that he's a part of today. So make sure you subscribe to this channel. We're about to start a new adventure so you can follow along with these agencies. This is gonna be the first video of three that we're gonna be doing with the Mikasuki Police Department. So without further ado, let's get this thing started. <laughs> What is going on? What's up, bro? What's up, brother? How are you, man? Good. How's everything? Good, good, bro. You ready? I'm ready for this. Wait, wait. Let's before it, before we start, though, please, please, can you put this on? Yeah, man. We need some good audio. Yeah. Is this good? Perfect. Introduce yourself to the Nod Squad. What's up, Nod Squad? I'm Officer Mike Fernandez with Mikasuki Police Department. Currently assigned to the traffic unit. Been in law enforcement now since 2016. On my third year now with Mikasuki, and I love every day of it. So tell us, where are we at right now? So today we're at the Mikasuki Resort and Gaming. This is where we have the hotel, and we have the gaming facility here. It's right off of A Street, which is Tamiami Trail, and Chrome Avenue, Southwest 177th Avenue, Miami, Florida. Is this your guys' main headquarters? No, Nick, actually not. This is actually the Chrome District. So in this district, what we have is the patrol officers assigned to this district. You're also gonna have GIU. GIU works in this district as well, and that is their office. I also notice you have a blue uniform, and usually Mikasuki PD had the brown and tans. The whole department, we transitioned from the brown and tans now we're blues, and this happened this year. The only difference is the regular road patrol officers, they'll have the outer carrier that matches the uniform. They'll have the badge, their name. It looks like a, like a button down almost. Traffic unit, we wear the tactical vest. So it's like a tack outer carrier? Exactly. All right, so today we're gonna do something different. Yeah. Yeah, it's the first time ever. We're gonna be riding with the traffic unit and you, yes? Yep. You know, this channel is all about police cars. We love our police cars. So can we check out your police car and the bad boy we're gonna be riding in today? Absolutely. Nick, my car's right over there. You wanna check it out? All right, pull it up. Let's do it. All right, Nick, so what you're looking at here is the traffic unit vehicle. This specific vehicle is a 2021 
police interceptor from Ford, based off of the Ford Explorer model. Right from factory, it's gonna come equipped with the suspension, the tires, and the spotlight. As you can see here, we have a push bumper in the front and a dual siren along with the lights. We'll get back to that later. Here, we're gonna have the Mikasuki Tribe colors along the whole side of the car, along with the insignia right here and the big reflective police lettering there along with the Mikasuki as well. As you can tell, it is a slick top, specifically for traffic unit. From far away, people are gonna know that you're a cop coming with the light bar, so we wanna keep it a little bit discreet when approaching vehicles. So another thing that sets us apart being a traffic unit is we have our speed measurement device. It's located right there with the computer that tells us the speed and the antenna that tells us the speed of the vehicles coming towards you. Also, another instrument that I use is my handheld laser, which I keep in the back, but I'll show you that later. But all patrol vehicles do have this feature. We have steel cages. In case anybody that we arrest try kicking out the window, it's not gonna happen. As we come to the rear, you're gonna see here the Chevron reflective striping for visibility with more lights back here. We wanna be very, very visible. I'm gonna hook up the vehicle and get it ready for the ride along. If you guys follow me on TikTok or Instagram, you had already seen these behind the scenes reels and TikToks or whatever they're called. So if you're not following, go follow. Right now, it's time to hook it up. Let's go. All right, just got in the car and I hear What's that, what gives, what is that? So that is the radar. Uh -huh. That sound basically, it is a uh, Doppler tone. So whenever it picks up a vehicle coming my way or approaching me from the back, because I do have an antenna back there, it's gonna signal that Doppler tone. The louder the tone is, the more, like the, the faster they're going. this area here so this area right here is called we call it Sierra 334 it's part of the South Florida water management district they basically control the water coming in and coming out from the Everglades right there and we have a boat ramp public boat ramp right there for the airboats so we usually come out here to give a courtesy for FWC show the police presence show the people that you know we're out here we're enforcing the law and uh, yeah that's pretty much what we do man also I like to come out here um, and use my other tool for traffic. Besides using the radar, I have another device. It is a stalker LIDAR, which is a laser gun. Okay, let's check it out. Let's do it, man. All right. It's a good little spot here. Yeah, it's a perfect spot. Why is that? Well, today's Sunday, right? Right. So this is Tamiami Trail. This basically connects Miami to Naples. Sunday evening, you know, look at all the traffic we got coming. A lot of DUIs on the weekend, people drinking, people having fun, very narrow road. Any little mistake, especially if you have a DUI, little swerve, what's gonna happen? You're gonna crash into the other car head on. Right. Can cause a major traffic fatality right there. Really, yeah. really, really bad. Do you guys get those out here a lot? Uh, yeah, we do. From time to time, we do get them, but that's why they got us out here, you know? Enforce traffic, show high visibility, tends to reduce it. So basically this is a Stalker LiDAR XLR. This is a laser gun used for speed enforcement, okay? The way it works is you have this little peephole right here. It has a little laser dot. Pull the trigger like a regular gun, right? Just like that. You're gonna point right through the little peephole straight at the dot. Where the dot is pointing, you're gonna hold and shoot at the car. Kind of like laser tag just like that and it's going to indicate to me how fast that vehicle is traveling and the distance in feet that they are approaching me what so in a court of law there's really no arguing because let's say this radar right right it's shooting a field it's kind of spreading out a radar and picking up stuff here right it shoots right? a cone it shoots a cone, cone. cone exactly cone so this you're pinpointing the car so there's no argument as to Hey, no, how do you know it was me? Well, because my right. laser beam was on your car. Exactly. Laser, 
No arguing in court. No arguing. All right. So what are we going to do now? So we're going to be utilizing the in-car radar. Okay. It's better for the in and out of the you car cam and all that. got a canine unit rolling up. Who's this? Who's this? Who's that? Oh, that's Officer Rodriguez. Canine. All right. What's up, brother? What's going on, Nick? All right. Canine unit. your brother. Canine unit Straight in the night. house. How you doing? What's going on? Doing good. Doing good. Here doing a little interdiction work. Uh-huh. With the canine unit. Who's that? Canine Riley. Canine Riley. I'm Officer Doug. Hey, uh, nice to meet you. Nice, nice to, to meet you. you. So yes. you guys are working out here a lot together? Yeah. Yeah, yes, we sir. work out here a lot together. All right, so you're going to be with us tonight? Yeah, we kind of work hand in hand. Whenever he pulls a traffic stop, we come back him up and uh, make our dog work. And he does all the work and finds the drugs. So strictly narcotics? Narcotics. Single purpose, narcotics, four cents. Nice. No fun. All right, so hopefully we get something tonight. Yes, sir. All, all right, let's, let's go. Let's do it. did was he waited until we had a little bit more space on the right to conduct that traffic stop you know, officer safety issues and whatnot yeah, i guess it's important out here small shoulders oh yeah So, Officer Rodriguez spotted this car with very, very dark tints. Um, that was his PC to stop him. He went ahead and measured the tint in the front, measured back, I think, at 5%, which is illegal in the state of Florida. All right. Uh, what he's doing right now is he's running the driver's license of the driver, make sure she doesn't come back with any wants or warrants. As far as his disposition for the stop, we're just going to have to wait and see what he wants to do. Gave the driver a break. Yes, I did. Uh, pretext stop was a unlawful tent gives us an opportunity to kind of go up to the car, see what's going on, where they're coming from. We ask our basic questions. Um, where are you coming from? Uh, where are you going to? Um, I ask them, what are they doing there? Um, and it kind of starts to build my reasonable suspicion or my PC of whether I deploy the dog or not. Um, they're coming from vacation, going to the family's house, everything checked out with the license. She said she bought the car from the dad, it had the tent. So I just gave her a break, uh, a verbal warning on it. All right. Check her yeah, driver's yeah, license, call, make yeah. sure she comes back with no wants, no warrants. Okay. And you know, it's basically his discretion call on what he wants to do. As I got to the light right after my other stop, I saw this vehicle with the missing a left driver's side headlight. So I went ahead and did my traffic stop, same routine. Um, check out the driver, make sure their, their, license, is, their license is valid, they have no wants or no warrants. Kind of get to spiel where they're going, where they're coming from. This particular uh, driver was coming to the casino after work. So everything came back good. Driving record good. No ticket. Just told her to get it fixed and uh, be on her way. All right. So right here, that's your radar like uh, HUD, heads up display, right? Yeah. It's telling everything what's going on. Right. Uh, so you have one here and one in the back, yes? Yeah, that's correct. And even though we're moving, it's calculating our speed? Yes. And so the middle number right there yeah. is going to tell me how fast I'm going. The one on the left is telling me how fast the vehicle is approaching me right now. So that guy, he's coming at me at 55. He's lowering it now to 52. And then the one on the right is going to tell me fast, which means out of the vehicles that are approaching me, which one is the fastest one? Okay. 
So even though we're traveling, we can still see how fast you're going. Can an officer talk about he's gonna run his dog? Yeah, yeah. He's gonna run. He's gonna run the dog. See what he's got. Oh, well, let me get out of the way. So he ran the dog on the outside to see if the dog gave any uh, hits on the vehicle, but everything turned out to be okay. The dog gave no hits, so we're just waiting on uh, Officer Essential's uh, disposition on the stop. Be southbound on Chrome. Just past tobacco shop. It's gonna be on a Florida tag of November Romeo Juliet Fox. How's it going? Si, si. Mi nombre es Oficial Fernández, Megasuki Traffic Unit. Okay, te paré porque cruzaste la línea sólido. Okay, allá. Si, si, está bien, está bien. Me parece que los tintes tuyos están un poquito oscuros. Si, también, tú tienes las tintes, mira. The crystal is this. Yes, it can't be. Do you have a license for registration and security? My PC to stop him was he crossed over a solid line. So that's an improper lane change. And on top of that, he has his front windshield is tinted. 407. It's a pet people, man. What's that? So this scans the driver's license and inputs all his information onto the citation form. twice now on video that we got you here yes sir are you allowed to because I know people are gonna be like hey you're not allowed to run the dog you have to have probable cause what's his probable cause can you explain that a little bit absolutely so what they have is that the uh, free air sniff uh, it's like they say the air doesn't have a constitutional right so we usually ask people some basic questions um, and some people allow us to run the dogs but no we do not need consent to run the, uh, the, the dog around any vehicle based on that free uh, free air sniff. Um, so if you're over in Broward, okay. can you hold them for you to get here? So they have, there is no case law that says that there's a specific time that an officer can be on a traffic stop. Um, pretty much what case law says is that is as long as it's not prolonging the stop and the officer's conducting their general investigation, um, if he has probable cause, if he's going to arrest him for whatever reason and he wants a canine to come sniff the car, then yeah, we can be in Broward and come. But at that point, he has PC to hold the, the driver and it's not prolonging his stop. Now, if he doesn't have any probable cause to hold the driver, then no, he cannot hold the driver for whatever the reasonable time of a traffic stop. So reasonable amount of time, which would be like the amount of time it takes to run the driver, right? In the record system, write the ticket, Right. Conduct uh, the investigation as far as their license suspended and everything, right? Okay. So that would is that the reasonable? Yeah, reasonable amount of time, right? So the amount of the reasonable is is stated as, okay, what are you your investigation? The entire stop. How long does it take to come back with the with the warrant checks? How long it takes you to write a ticket? Some officers write slower than others. Some write faster. Some have a printer. Others don't. And what I mentioned with probable cause, do you smell narcotics in the car? You're at that point. You search, you do an initial search, you find a misdemeanor amount, okay, you're gonna arrest the person for that misdemeanor amount, you wanna request canine to try to find a bigger amount, then absolutely at that point, 
this, you're still conducting your investigation and you have reasonable time for the canine to get here if they're coming from a far distance. There's this rumor out there of 20 minutes. Yeah. Um, case law says that that is not true. What if that person's getting arrested for suspended license? Okay. And they're they're going to be transported or they're being held there because they're. It's not necessarily that the officer suspected, right? right. But they're being held for a suspended license. Can you still come and run the dog? Absolutely. Yeah. What was the outcome? So the outcome of the stop was this individual made an improper lane change. That was my PC to stop him. Approached the driver. I noticed that his windshield has illegal tint on it. Can't tint the windshield in the state of Florida. What's the deal? He has this front windshield tinted. What's so bad about that? Well, imagine driving around at night with sunglasses on. Right. It limits your visibility to see, make good reactions, good judgments. So therefore, that's why it's illegal in the state of Florida. <laughs>
questions. I'm asking you questions that I already know the answer to. Okay. So I'm going to ask you again. Do you know you're on probation? I'm going to take, yes. Okay, so you know you're on probation. Yes. All right, go ahead. So know. I'm assuming what, 2018 more or less? I don't remember exactly. You don't remember. You know what year we're in? No. You know what year we're in? No. You don't know what year we're in? I don't understand it. What year we are in? Where is the uh, warrant coming out of? Monroe County. Keys, right? Monroe. Monroe. Keys, I'll confirm. Waiting for a reply. Keys, you can show one of the customers. We're going to go to his car. Okay. Let's go. I got him, bro. Can I stop you for one more second? Yes, sir. I just want to let you know out of all the years filming police, you're probably, and no offense to the people watching, uh, you, you, that I film, <laughs> that are on K-9. <laughs> the best handler to work with. You know, you know, <laughs> That's awesome. You know, you know why? Because they always go, hey, nah, my, dog, my dog's nice, don't worry about it. And they bite your mic. And they always bite my mic because I got a fluffy mic. It looks like a Kong, so they always ha, they always That's nip awesome. at it. That's awesome. So I know. Th thank you. I want to shake you. your hand for that, yes, sir. Say, he's a good boy. I guess he's new, so he's a good boy. They always say, "No, don't worry, don't worry about it." And it's always ha. All right, so uh, so you want to talk a little bit more about what you were talking about? Yeah, earlier? it's funny you mentioned the whole thing with the detentions of a of a stop. If if it's something else other than narcotics, um, this driver came back with a suspended DL. So also came back with a hit with a possible warrant. So during that time, it's during the investigation. So it's not prolonging it. He's a possible arrest. At this time, they're taken out of the car. They're being detained until we verify the warrant. Um, and I went ahead and ran the dog. And knowledge is power, right? So I'm always reading up on case law. Um, actually, U.S. versus Sharp, S-H-R-P-E, discuss what a lawful detention is with uh, police and how long they can take on a traffic stop. So anybody that wants to look it up and you learn a little bit off of it. Oh, my boy's dropping knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying. He's, he's dropping knowledge. We're he's trying. like, oh, I, I, I wish somebody in the comment section would. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. I've just verified with Monroe. Both, he has two warrants in Monroe County. They're both pick up. They will extradite. Rodriguez. Attention Chrome units, attention Chrome units. He's receiving a 317 okay. of Unknown vehicle description. The caller is advising that the body has ejected from the vehicle which is the bush. Hamilton advised it's the north on the call. Hamilton advised it's the north on the call. Hamilton advised it's the north on the call. Ejection. The anonymous caller is stating that there is a body that flew out the vehicle and there's a body on the floor. Reference, all units, George. You got a tourniquet? What's the QTH? Car's over there. We're gonna be about five miles north of Chrome. Hold the air, hold the air. We got a motorcycle guy, maybe not really. Anyone want to down? Start a rescue, start a rescue. Here's all units, if you're not handling the 317, they will be here. Rescue and route, fire rescue is about to arrive. 
Right there, there's a red one right here. Are you looking for the motorcycle? Oh, look at, is that the bike? Yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we're trying to see if there was, any, if there was two people on the bike. Uh, two people on the bike? No, we're trying. That's what we're trying to figure out. Make sure that there was not a second photo. On the bike. surrounding area in the Everglades right over here in the, in the very heavy marsh to see if there's anything else that they can find, you know, any, any other victims involved in this accident. So not only uh, did the helicopter have thermal, but you saw one of the fire uh, fighters out there with the la ladder extended over the march and they were using like a little thermal camera too to see if there was indeed a second person riding on that, uh, that motorcycle. So fortunately there wasn't. So I think, uh, I think let's catch up with the guys and see what's going on. So we, we were on that call over there with the warrant. Right. And then actually the guy had two warrants, yes? Yeah, he had two warrants from Monroe. Can, can you like walk us through what just what happened because we kind of just got in the car and went. So that's the thing with this job, you know, it could, one second to the next, it switches, all right? So we were dealing with that guy, he had two warrants. We waited for the backup unit to arrive from Chrome District. He came, he went ahead and took over because that call came out. So we originally got a 317, which means an emergency accident. The dispatch was advising about a possible ejection with a rollover. With a rollover. All right, so we went ahead, you know, based on priority of the call, we left the, the warrant with the Chrome unit. He took over and we responded over here. Okay, and uh, you were right with us there. So yes, you, were just, you were right behind us. So then uh, we head this way, right? Yeah. And uh, it took us a little bit to find them, but then they advised, right? We did a call back. Right. And they advised that there was people there flagging us down. Right, right, right. So upon, you know, arriving to the scene, I noticed that the people on the side of the road flagging us down, flagging us down. That's when I saw the individual on the side of the road. I went ahead, I grabbed my AED. He went ahead and grabbed his equipment. And tourniquet, right? yeah, tourniquet. And we went over there and, and I checked for vitals and all that. Started setting up for the AED. And that's when rescue started to arrive. When rescue arrived, they went ahead and took over. Right, so, uh, and when you're checking for vitals, you couldn't find anything, no? There was absolutely no vitals. I was checking for pulse, uh, looking at his chest for rise and fall. There was nothing. Also, the second vehicle, when we got here, um, we saw that it was rolled over, and the gentleman happened to be on the side of the road, and, and we asked, hey, is there anybody else in the car? And he told us, no, I was the only one in. I crawled out through the window, which kind of gave us that reassurance of nobody's in. We tried to go in there. It was very mushy. When fire rescue got here, as soon as he did, they did a thermal check with their equipment, and we were able to somewhat verify there was nobody else. Yeah, out. so that's what the helicopter was up exactly. in the sky. They were, that's what they were doing. Yes, sir. They right. were hovering over, just kind of verifying that maybe, maybe there was a uh, another uh, victim on the on the, on the motorcycle. Right. Exactly. Absolutely. You never know. So, gentlemen, um, you know we usually end usually end my videos on higher notes. This is a very serious um, incident that took place. Right. Here. So it uh, just shows. 
police work. You know, right. we go from taking some traffic stops for a headlight, coming upon a warrant, and then hey, it's time to time to uh, time to go. So, uh, thank you, gentlemen, for for showing us around the Nod Squad around, guys. This is a new series again that we're starting on this channel. It's going to be a little more serious. So uh, any parents that have the uh, kids that usually watch the channel, maybe you guys might want to screen some of these videos that come out because this is real life police work, yes? Yeah, sir. Yeah, so uh, thanks again. And we'll see you guys on the next one. We're going to hold off on the sign off just given the circumstances that uh, took place here. So see you on the next one. Make sure you uh, subscribe and follow for more. All right.